Hi friends, uh, welcome to Civil Art Research Tutorials. Today's subject is how the air conditioner works in uh, in our home. I am just talking about the sprinkler system in which uh, how it is working. That's what I am going to explain today. So mainly deals with the re refrigeration cycle. So the refrigeration cycle contains a refrigerator. Uh, it is called R22. It could be R22 or R there are so many refrigerants and uh, it is not water actually it is called refrigerant or the by brand name we can say it as uh, freon so why we are uh, using uh, refrigerant instead of water because refrigerant has got a very low boiling point so that if the refrigerant is placed in uh, room temperature it will boil itself that means the boiling point of refrigerant is very low when compared to water what has boiling point as you know 100 degrees celsius so this is because the property of the refrigerant that it has got very low boiling point we are making use of refrigerant in refrigerators or in uh, air conditioning you know this refrigerant has got a very harmful effect in the environment that is as it goes into the atmosphere it has got it will make holes in the or deplete the ozone layer around the earth so that is the disadvantage of uh, refrigerant but still uh, because of its property of uh, becoming at boiling point at a very low temperature we are using refrigerant in air conditioners so we know that uh, air condition have got two units one is outside unit and inside unit inside unit com uh, composed of two uh, two things and outside unit composed of two things uh, two components i will explain the four components now just uh, remember c c e e if you remember c c e e you you know all the components the first c is compressor compressor is a thing which compresses the refrigerant okay and then from the compressor uh, the second component is condenser so the second c compressor and condenser two c's are available so that two c's are there in the outdoor unit okay compressor and condenser is in the outdoor unit and then comes the evaporated panel and um, this expansion bulb expansion bulb is one e and the second e is evaporator evaporator uh, coil evaporator coil okay so that two e is in the indoor unit that is where the split AC is inside our room. So this is the system. And these four components are connected with tubes. And the messenger which is going through all the tubes and all the components is the refrigerator 22 or Freon. Okay. So uh, let us uh, see how the refrigerant is working in it. See, the refrigerant will be, uh, one thing I want to mention is that uh, the refrigerant is passing through all the coils and all the components. The only thing is that the refrigerant is changing its phase from a liquid state to vapor state and from vapor state to liquid state when one cycle of refrigerant happens it, uh, at constant temperature it is changing its uh, shape is uh, state only temperature will be same even in this coil the temperature will be same but it changes to uh, vapor to liquid and from liquid vapor in the other phase so let me explain it first the refrigerant as a vapor reaches the compressor okay so now the vapor refrigerant reaches the compressor compressor will compress it like this so that the molecules will come uh, closer and the kinetic energy will be high in the uh, refrigerant and so the refrigerant will develop temp heat and pressure so it will be at high temperature and high pressure so the function of compressor is to make the refrigerant at high temperature and high pressure so after uh, it attains high temperature and high pressure this passes to this uh, condenser coil which is outside actually the compressor and the condenser is outside unit okay so when it passes through this condenser condenser coil it will exchange heat to the outside air that means now the refrigerant is at high temperature and high pressure uh, so there is a fan also here you can see a fan here so when the fan um, runs the heat will uh, exchange from this condenser unit to the outside atmosphere which is always at a lesser temperature when compared to the refrigerant temperature okay so the one condition that is very essential is that the refrigerant temperature in the uh, condenser unit the temperature will be high when compared to the outside air temperature actually uh, when i was working in saudi um, that thing happened to me because uh, in June, July, it is very hot, around 55 degrees Celsius, it is coming there. So I was in a container there, In the we are doing a, a construction project there. So one day, the my AC stopped working all of a sudden. So I don't know why, I, have, I thought that there was some problem with the AC. 
then I changed it to a new AC that also worked for one or two days then again it got complaint the same complaint third AC also I I purchased and then uh, after that the technician said that it is not the complaint with the AC because the temperature outside is so high uh, that is a problem at that time I don't know that I, I only know that if the temperature uh, outside is high then AC will not work but if you know this principle that is the refrigerant inside the condenser unit may not have a higher temperature when compared to the temperature outside the uh, atmosphere or, or in the atmosphere at that time that's why it is not working so the one condition is that the outside temperature should be lower than the refrigerant uh, temperature inside the condenser oil then only the heat can exchange according to the thermodynamics law heat will flow from a higher uh, hot area to a lower hot area so since that air temperature is lower and the outside heat transfer will take place at the condenser coil okay we know that the, there is a heat transfer takes place at the at this condenser um, coil unit and from there the refrigerant will go in the liquid state itself through this pipe to this expansion valve okay so once it reaches the expansion valve and it, when it passes through the expansion valve the temperature as well as the pressure will be very less and still it is in the liquid state so it becomes cooler than the uh, refrigerant that was before okay so from there it uh, travels from the expansion valve and reaches the evaporator coil so expansion valve and this evaporator coil are, are all in this uh, indoor unit okay which is inside the room like i said before the room temperature can make the refrigerant boil so now the room temperature is high when compared to the temperature of the refrigerant which is inside the evaporator coil so when it is passing through it there is fan there and you know that uh, inside the inside unit of the ac will suck air from the room the hot air inside the room will go into this evaporator coil okay by by this time the refrigerant will be super cold which will be very cold the refrigerant will be very cold what happens is that when the room air is blowing on this evaporator coil the refrigerant will take absorb the heat from the room air and again the refrigerant will become heat because it is absorbing the room temperature this absorbing the heat it goes out of this evaporator coil and it passes again to the compressor okay so like i said before the web it will be converted to vapor state so when it goes out of this thing it will be in the the refrigerator will be in the vapor state so the vapor refrigerant with some heat goes to the compressor and again the compressor will compress it and it make it more heater or more hot and it uh, and it has got more pressure to again the same cycle happens from here it will go through the condenser coil and it exchange the heat to the outside air and then again it comes through this pipe to the expansion valve and where the temperature and the pressure will get less again it passes through the evaporator coil and it will become super cooled and it absorbs the heat from the inside unit and then again it the cycle goes on like that so the first thing is that the this area that is from the compressor unit which includes compressor unit and the condenser coil up to the expansion valve it is the refrigerant is under high pressure and high temperature and when it reaches out the expansion valve and when it go to the evaporator coil it will be super cooled and for, uh, for, by that time it will change the state from liquid to vapor state and from there to uh, compressor it will be in vapor and after compressor it will change to liquid state so this is the cycle as you know the heat flows from higher heat area to a lower heat area the same principle happens in the condenser unit like i said before that is the when the refrigerant uh, in, in in the outdoor unit is very very hot when compared to the atmospheric air the heat will transfer from the refrigerant to the outside air but here the when it goes to the evaporator coil it is just the opposite of what is happening in the condenser coil here the air inside the room is higher than the temperature of the refrigerant inside the uh, evaporator coil which is super cooled so it will absorb the heat that is the heat from the room will go into the refrigerant 
so and then that's the cycle will go on like this so this is the in simple words this is the refrigerant cycle of a refrigerant in a air conditioning unit which includes inside unit and outside unit so inside unit again i am telling inside unit consists of the expansion valve and the evaporator panel two e's are there outside unit com uh, consists of compressor as well as the condenser unit heat transfer happens in those in, the, in these two areas in, inside unit also it the heat transfer happens from the room um, air into the refrigerant and when it goes outside the heat will transfer from the refrigerant to the outside air so that is the uh, way the reference cycle is happening so now i think you understand what is actually really happening inside the air conditioner and how the referent is moving through it just uh, to think that referent is a, a thing which changes the physical state of it from liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid when it completes one refrigerant cycle in this air conditioning unit so one is one change happens outside the room and the other physical change happens inside the room so i hope you understand what i uh, explained now regarding the air conditioning hope i will uh, come with another video with another subject till then goodbye please subscribe share and like my channel thank you very much